So it's a, basically a warm water dispenser. So it has like a glass tank on it. Because I told y'all, even if I'm in the house with it, even if I'm momming, I'm gonna show up on the camera because we gonna we gonna put this content. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel for another weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Asia, or better known as the Fab Life of Asia. And yeah, so we are outside. <laughs> I'm saying it like I'm really just doing something, but today is Sunday, June 9th. And today has been a really good Sunday so far. Yesterday, I really cleaned up the house and just kind of like relaxed. Well, really was more cleaning than relaxing. But I really didn't do too much. That's why I didn't pick up the camera. And then today we finished cleaning up this morning. I uploaded a new video. It's a baby clothing haul. Make sure y'all check out that video after y'all get done watching this one. It'll be the video right, bef uh, right before this one on my channel. And then my family came over for a little while to see the baby, which was really, really nice. My granny, which is my son's great grandma, got to see him for the first time. So that was exciting. And I just, um, we got like a really, really cute picture of them together. I might insert that so y'all can see it. But yeah, I was just really, really happy. I got to spend time with family. My home is clean. And now mama is outside about to get groceries. We got put in a grocery order this morning. Um, a pretty large grocery order, honestly. Y'all about to see. Because they're going to load the truck up with everything. But yeah, we're getting the groceries. And then I'm probably going to slide through and go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I haven't been in Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I think, since the last time I vlogged it on the channel, which is a few vlogs back, um, which probably was like over a month ago. So I am really itching to see what they have and everything like that. So I'm going to bring y'all along for that because, of course, y'all know your good sis love a good TJ Maxx Home Goods run. So we got to check that out. And yeah, we're just kind of going with the flow, chilling. I just thought this would be a good time to kick the vlog off. So yeah, y'all, like I said, we're about to get these groceries and then I'll pick y'all back up once we really get to moving and grooving. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare too much. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feels in an every day All I wanna hear is in the visions that we play Staring next to you Anyway, she said, Don't let the high go to waste. Can you 
little taste, little taste, get something to eat at Culver's to a burger spot if you're not aware Culver's has some really good burgers my husband put me on to Culver's since we've been together and it's funny cuz I used to drive past one closer to like where my parents live for years and I used to always be like I wonder what kind of food they serve but then I had it once I got my husband and I was like oh this is good and they got some fire fire ice cream too so, if you've never had Culver's before and you got one near you, you should definitely try it out. It's yummy. It's yummy, yummy. Cheese and bacon Oh, I wouldn't want to bleed Even my heart, my mind, and my body Stay 
So we are back home. I had a wonderful time going to TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I took y'all along and showed y'all a couple things that I found in there. Um, I guess I can show y'all what I got. I actually ended up putting away the stuff that my husband got. So um, my husband got like three graphic tees and they're like really, really nice um, graphic tees. But I already hung them up in the closet. Um, but I got my son this little book. It just says, uh, Baby Touch and Feel Animals. I'm trying to build his book collection just so he can have some different variety. Because I've been trying to make sure that I'm reading to him. So, I just want like, like simple books for right now. Just like little stuff that just makes him engage, you know. So, got him a little book. And if you didn't know, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff like that, they always have, like, really good uh, baby books and things like that. And they have, like, a lot of the classic books. Babe, what was that book? Oh, the Hungry, Cal the Hungry Caterpillar. They had that book. I know a lot of people, um, especially if you're, like, my age. I'm 28. You know about the Hungry Cal Caterpillar book. They had that book in there. I didn't get it because it seemed, like, a little more advanced for him right now because he is still a little baby not that he's reading it but like i said i'm just trying to stick to like the simple books um for now um i got these lashes y'all see my lashes are gone i don't have any on right now i took my lashes off on saturday because they were just starting to come off the set that i did with y'all on the last vlog uh that wasn't the last that i had i had done another set before uh, after that and it was really really pretty i liked them they were more full instead of doing i think i had did the set i did with y'all i did five lashes on each eye and on the set that i did um the last set that i did that i just took off i did six lashes on each eye mm -hmm. and because i had a lash left in the last pack that i had done with y'all so i added that in to the new set and it was so pretty y'all yeah, love them so much and i used a different lash style um, I can't remember what it, what it is. I took a picture of my phone so I wouldn't forget. But um, I haven't, I didn't buy any more. I really just need to start buying like at least three packs of them at a time. So I just have them ready to go so I can redo my lashes. But when I was in there in the makeup section, I saw that Ardell, y'all know Ardell Lashes is like a known br lash brand. They have a press on lash um, extension 
set and it came with 30 extensions this is what it looks like and i have 10 mil 10 millimeters 12 millimeters and 14 millimeters which i don't really know a lot about like what that means i know it's just like the limbs but that's kind of like the numbers i use when you actually go get like lash extensions so i like that they do have like a good variety because i can kind of like mix them up and do my own like little lash map so i'll let y'all know what i think about these um, I'm sure these are something you probably could find. Well, why with the boy? Yeah, excuse my son. He's having a ball with his dad and getting a little fussy. But, um, yeah, so definitely excited to use these. I'm going to try to use the Kids Bonding Seal with these to make them last longer like I did with the set that I did with y'all. And I'll let y'all know kind of like my thoughts on these. I maybe may or may not do them um, with y'all probably won't because i just showed y'all a last video and it's kind of hard to film it and do it at the same time but once i do them like i'll show y'all the finished product so i may do these tomorrow just so i can have me a nice little last set for the week last set lash set i can't talk so i can have me a nice little lash set for the week so excited about these am i ever gonna stop buying juicy couture I don't think I am. <laughs> so y'all know I love Juicy Couture. If you're new here, let me let you let me let you know a little secret. I love Juicy Couture pajamas. They are everything. I buy them all the time from TJ Maxx. If TJ Maxx starts selling stop selling Juicy Couture pajamas, I will be so sad because I literally buy like at least one pair every time I go in there. This is a robe, a juicy robe that I have on. Super cute. Love this robe. Hold on if y'all can see the rhinestones. It's a perfect little bubblegum pink. And then today, I've been having this though. But today, I bought a little, this little set. It's black, has juicy on the butt. And then it has like a tank top to go with it. Y'all, a vibe. And honestly, truly, you can wear these outfits out. Like I could see somebody wearing this out in the summertime. If you own that type of time, you on your Y2K baddy you know vibe with some cute sandals and a little black bag but i'm gonna wear them as um pajamas around the house but i just love this like a little tank so cute and then i got the same set in pink hot pink like y'all and i don't know if y'all can tell but it's like ribbed it's so soft so soft and I just, like I, I think I told y'all before, these um, hold up really well. If you wash them and then hang them up and don't put them in the dryer, the rhinestones and stuff, hang, um, they hold up really well. Like I have stuff from Juicy Couture from at least like three or four years ago that still look pretty good. But I just don't, I make sure I don't dry them. And I just love them. And I love them more than like a lot of the stuff that I've even gotten from like Victoria's Secret. I actually recently just had a, um did an order at Victoria's Secret, and I'm about to return the stuff because y'all when I took the stuff out the package, I'm, I'm I might show y'all, but I was thought it was gonna be like really nice quality. They were having a sale, like buy two get one free. I got a perfume, which I do like the perfume, um, but the pajamas are mid like they are so thin a paper thin i don't know what's going on with victoria's secret like i feel like i used to get like really nice quality pajamas from there i say my favorite things i get from victoria's secret are like their actual lingerie like the stuff that's more like on the sexy side but their regular pajamas i'd rather have my juicy couture so that's my thoughts on that. That stuff is probably going back. Like I said, I may show y'all, but I don't even know if I'm gonna show y'all because I'm not keeping it. So I'm probably gonna end up going to the mall or something next weekend to my local Victoria's Secret and getting my money back because I'm not satisfied. But yeah, I'm just a, a sleepwear, loungewear, girly. Like I love me a good lounge set, love me a good sleep set, I'm just around the house. I guess because I spend so much time at home, I just love having comfortable stuff to put on and also i like to feel cute at the same time so tj Maxx just does that for me like it does they always have the cutest stuff in their sleepwear section so really quick i wanted to show y'all also um this little 
warm water dispenser I got is from Amazon, but it's from the brand Dr. Brown's. And I actually have the Dr. Brown's bottle sterile, uh, dryer and sterilizer, and I love it so much. Um, if you look at my one of my nesting blogs that I did before I had my son, um, y'all so, showed y'all me using it. I believe I did in one of those videos. Um, basically, it's just a little... Um, basically a sterilizer if you're a mom or anything you are familiar with the bottle sterilizers but i really like it and my son does do formula we usually use like a bottle warmer which i'll show y'all what it looks like it's just like a little thing and you just press the button and it has like a we have like a preset four minute timer on it and sometimes my son gets fussy when he's hungry, honey. He get fussy. He be ready to tussle. And he don't like waiting. And I understand because when I'm hungry, I don't like waiting either. So I said, I got to remedy this. And I was actually on Instagram. That's how I know I look at a lot of baby stuff online because I get like a lot of ads for like baby stuff on my Instagram timeline. And this came down my timeline. And this is what it looks like. So it's a, basically a warm water dispenser. So it has like a glass tank on it. And you just put water in here. I think it I think they said it makes like up to like 10 bottles before you have to fill it up or more than that maybe more than that I can't remember dispense water is needed at the perfect temperature to instantly prepare baby's formula bottle it has room temperature setting a body temperature setting and above body temp setting so I'll probably probably do like the body temp to see how that is and then kind of just go from there gate even has like a little night light feature as well so like at night you'll be able to see but i just thought this was super innovative um it was only like 50 dollars, which i don't feel like that's too bad because like i said it's just gonna save me a lot of time because i'm not gonna have to worry about waiting for the water warmer to warm up and warm the milk up and honestly i don't feel like the bottle warmer does that great of a job it getting the um, milk as warm as I feel like it should be so I will let y'all know my thoughts on this once I start using them actually about the um, opening like wash the tank and stuff and try to make him a bottle with it as well so if I don't tell y'all at this point in the vlog I will let y'all know um, I'll make sure that I let y'all know but um, hopefully this will be a winner and a staple and if it is I will recommend it to y'all and let y'all know that y'all need to go run and get one okay okay so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm about to do that, make my son a bottle, put him in his pajamas for the night, and probably just relax and hang out with my husband. I've been re-watching Queen Charlotte. I don't, I haven't talked about uh, Bridgerton on my channel before, but I am a Bridgerton fan. Y'all love Bridgerton. I don't know if y'all watch Bridgerton. Um, it's a show on Netflix, and it's kind of like dated, like back in the, I don't know what century, but it's supposed to be like back in, way, way back, and it's supposed to be like the royal families of England and things like that, and it's a really good show, and they have a spinoff of the show based on the queen called Queen Charlotte, and she is uh, like a mixed girl, so it makes it even better because she's kind of black. She black. She's a black girl. So, um, yeah, I'm re I've been rewatching Queen Charlotte, so I'll probably watch an episode of that tonight and just like I said, relax. Um, and yeah, nothing much more going on. I'll make sure I hop back on here tomorrow and talk to y'all and we'll hang out. And I do have work tomorrow, so I don't know how much hanging out we're gonna be able to do, but we'll see. We'll see because I told y'all, even if I'm in the house with it, even if I'm momming. I'm gonna show up on the camera because we're gonna we gonna get this content and we're gonna get y'all y'all vlogs. Okay. But yeah, so I will see y'all tomorrow. Doesn't make sense now. Shit just got real things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we a lot or you speak French now. So I gotta take a hit now I hit you up like Who you wanna hang right now On the east side And you know I'm with the thing right now You say do I wanna watch Do I know what time it is right now yeah. It's after 2 a.m. And that's asking a lot of you Come to me, you don't ever come to me, you don't ever
never come to me All she ever said is come and see me for us Come and see me Hey y'all, welcome to another day in the vlog. So today is Wednesday. What's today's date? Check my iPad. Today is Wednesday, June 12th. The last time I talked to y'all was Monday. That was just two days ago, so that's not too bad. And um, we were at the park, and I had such a wonderful time, and just taking baby boy. I think that he's been, we took him to the park once before, which I showed that on the vlog, probably like a month or so ago, or a, lot, a little longer, I can't remember. It was after one of his doctor's appointments, I think, on one of those vlogs, but um, he was a little smaller, so, and also we were, he was in like his regular um car seat attachment so he couldn't like really see around well he, we took him out but basically i'm trying to say y'all i'm sorry i'm tired it's been a long day but uh anyways so we took him to the park y'all saw that and before this clip y'all saw that and we i had put the stroller attachment on that was like the long like lay down attachment and he really enjoyed I don't know what my TV is doing. I was watching Chelsea. I think I told y'all about Chelsea on my channel before. I am Chelsea Janae. And I love her channel. I'm trying to catch up on her vlogs. My good sis, she be real consistent, which I love that for her and for us, for people who watch her. But um, I'm behind. I'm like I'm like five vlogs behind, which are not like super long vlogs, like 20, 25 minutes. But I'm trying to catch up. I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> but y'all, this is just the authentic a moment of me, baby boy. He is taking a nap today. I did work. Just had a little regular work day. I did stay over a little bit. Got some overtime which was cool usually i would take an usually around this time when my son's taking his nap i take a nap with him but i drank me some caffeine some like green tea right before i got off work so i kind of got a little energy i mean not a whole lot of energy as y'all can tell but enough to just kind of like stay up so i was just like oh let me let me take advantage of this and watch some youtube and then i was also like Girl, you should hop on a vlog and talk to the girlies and see what they're up to. I hope while y'all watching this, y'all having a wonderful week. Um, I've been having a pretty good week. I can't have any complaints. Work has been cool. Nothing major. Uh, baby boy, he's been doing well and everything um this weekend is father's day weekend so i do want to plan something special for my husband i bought his gifts already i have to show y'all um probably have to show y'all when i open them up well one of the gifts is on the way it says it's supposed to be here tomorrow i think and um one of them i already have so I'll kind of show y'all when I package his gifts and everything. And I hope he likes his gifts. He did give me this necklace for Mother's Day this year. I don't know if y'all can see it. It says Mama. And it's really pretty. I love it. I, I don't ever take it off. Unless I'm like in a mood to wear like gold jewelry, I will um take it off. But like on my regular day to day, most of the time I'm wearing silver, which my wedding ring is silver, so it just works. So I'm wearing it like a lot. And I really wanted me like a new silver necklace. So it worked out perfectly when he got me that. And I was like, Did I tell you I wanted a silver necklace? He was like, No, I didn't you didn't tell me. I'm Okay, let my man read my mind or whatever. <laughs> but, anywho, like I said, I just was hopping down here. I just wanted to chit chat with y'all a little bit. Catch up. Um, yeah, like I said, if I was a weekend, is this weekend. So, I also need to try to go find my dad something as well. I have no idea what to get that man. I feel like ever since I was a kid, I did not know 
what to get that man. I used to buy him like cologne and stuff all the time. So he loves cologne. It always is like a real good gift for him. Or I'll like get him. Ever since he like uh, was retired, I buy him like kind of like athleisure outfits, like clothes, like retired men clothes, like nice little jogging suits and stuff like that. And he's been liking that, so I probably either get him one of those two things, um, and roll with that. Can't go wrong with a nice fragrance for somebody or outfit. I, you know, I love my fashion, so I have no problem with picking out somebody a nice little outfit. And let's see, anything else I'm missing? Oh, I wanted to update y'all on the Dr. Brown's, um, like the little water warmer tank thing that I showed y'all the other day. So, y'all, I love that thing down. So, I feel like that is an alternative to the girls that don't want to do the... I cannot think of what it's called. I put it on the screen, but I can describe it. I just don't remember what brand sells it. But it's like the one that you put the formula in and then it makes the bottle like everything together. And I was going to get that. It is a little steep. I think they were like $200, which I don't feel like that's a really bad when you think about how many, you know, if your baby does drink formula. Um, you having to constantly mix the bottles, like it'll, it will mix the bottle perfectly, like the right amount for you and it'll warm it, make it warm and everything. So I feel like if you do want to invest in that, that's cool too. But if you don't want to spend like $200 or if you just don't like the idea of like a machine mixing your baby's bottle. Um, for you, I feel like this Dr. Brown's little water warm thing. It's just basically a, a, a glass tank, tank, and you just pour the water in there. I use uh, like distilled baby water for my son's bottles, so you just pour it in there, and then um, it warms it up and it just keeps it warm. And I think what the technology behind it is like it'll get to a certain temperature, and if it feels like it starts to drop. It'll just keep it warm. So anytime you're like making a bottle, all you have to do is just hit the little lever. It dispenses the warm water. Drop the formula in there, girl, shake it up, and you got a warm bottle. And I just feel like this is so much more convenient than like the little traditional bottle warmer I was using. So I really am loving it, and I do recommend it. Um, I got mine off Amazon, of course. You know, I'm an Amazon girly. And it literally, I can't order it one day, and it came the next. And I think I paid, like, $55 for it. So, again, not too bad. It was more expensive than my bottle warmer, which probably was only, like, $25. But um, definitely a lot less than that other little machine I was talking about that mixes the formula. But... Yeah, y'all, like I said, I'm just laying here chilling. Been watching some YouTube. Um, I'm about to transfer the footage for uh, the what I filmed so far for this video so I can start doing some editing either tonight or tomorrow because I do want to get this video up for y'all this Sunday, which will be Father's Day. I'm really trying to get consistent on the schedule and I also want to upload an another additional video um, every week going forth on either like Wednesday, probably Wednesday. I feel like Wednesday is probably going to be the best. That video will be like a lot shorter. It'll be be like something dedicated if y'all haven't already check out um the last video I uploaded which is um baby boy clothing haul i really uh love that video that i just put out and basically i'm just showing y'all the pieces that i've accumulated for baby boy for him for this summer so it's a lot of cute baby boy uh summer clothes spring clothes inspiration in there also i know some of those pieces that i showed y'all are still available so definitely um like i said check that out for your little one yeah, I'm going to just sit here and continue to relax and chill, have my little me time before my husband gets home from work and baby boy wakes up from his nap and I got to hop back into mom and wife mode. The girls that get it, get it. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I will catch y'all a little later. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come on me. Fly you out to grief, full speed, so for the belly. Tell me, leave all of your things, yeah. You stop it, put you stop it, Louis V, yeah. Tell me, fly you out to grief, full 
I'm just coming on here to end out the vlog today is officially Father's Day and it's really exciting because it's my husband's first one so you know we're gonna have to make today super special for him I just love him so much and I just am grateful for um, the father and husband that he is to this family so I'm definitely gonna make sure that he feels appreciated today and happy Father's Day to any fathers that are watching this video or happy Father's Day to your husband, girl, your man, your brother, everybody. I'm just, you know, happy Father's Day. I feel like sometimes fathers don't get the rec recognition that they deserve. But um, over here, we give recognition to the, to the good fathers, okay? I am about to go and finish the edits on this vlog, so y'all will see it today. And um definitely make sure that you like comment and subscribe before you leave and i will catch y'all on my next upload which will be wednesday bye